Hi boys and girls, guess what? Today is our last summer Sunday school lesson. We have been learning all about the fruit of the spirit this summer and today is our very last lesson. Do you think you can say all nine fruit of the spirit with me? Let's say them together, are you ready? The fruit of the spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Great. All right, here's another question for you. If I wanted to read those words somewhere, where could I look? The Bible. Yes, I could find the words to the fruit of the Spirit in the Bible, in the book of Galatians. Galatians 5, verses 22 through 23. All right, now, who wrote those words? Do you remember that? Paul, you're right, Paul. He wrote those words when he wanted to teach the people that if they were believers and they were followers of Jesus, that they would be given a gift, a gift from God. And that gift would be the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit will live inside of us. And that Holy Spirit will help fruit to grow inside. Not plant fruit, but life fruit. And all of those wonderful fruit will grow and grow, and then we will be able to share all of those wonderful ways of God with other people. Paul told the people that if they believed in God, that they would be able to teach and help other people learn about Jesus and be able to be followers too, because they would be showing them all of the fruit of the Spirit. All right, so today, for our very last lesson, I thought we could read a story together. And the story that I chose to read is called, Maybe God is Like That Too. Now, this story was written by Jennifer Grant. Maybe God is Like That Too. I live in the city where the sidewalks and subway cars and buildings and buses are packed with people. But I've never seen God before. Grandma, does God live in the city? I asked one morning at breakfast. Yes, God is here, she said. You just need to know where to look. Whenever you see love, joy, and peace, God is there, she said, stirring her tea. Whenever there's patience, kindness, and goodness, God is there too. And when you see faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, that is God's spirit at work. On our way to school, I am on the lookout. I see a bus full of tourists, and I count ten bright yellow taxis. I spy a man sweeping a stoop. And Grandma and I laugh when we see a tiny dog wearing a fluffy purple sweater. At school, Grandma hands me my lunch and she hugs me close before she says goodbye. That's what love looks like to me. Maybe God is like that too. On the swings, I pump so hard, I can see over the wall and into the alley. My friends shout, higher, higher, as my feet fly high up into the sky. That's what joy looks like to me. Maybe God is like that, too. Outside, car horns blast and sirens scream, but my classroom? is quiet and calm. That's what peace looks like to me. Maybe God is like that too. I try to tie my shoes, but my laces get tangled around my fingers. My teacher sits down beside me and shows me how to tie them. That's what patience looks like to me. Maybe God is like that too. 
On the way home, I see a doorman wearing a red cape and a hat with a shiny brim. He's holding the door for a man using a wheelchair. The man moves very slowly, and the doorman chats with him and smiles. That's what kindness looks like to me. Maybe God is like that, too. While I'm setting the table for dinner, there's a knock at the door. It's the neighbor from downstairs bringing us a loaf of bread. It's golden brown and warm and wrapped in a thin white towel. That's what goodness looks like to me. Maybe God is like that too. After dinner, I work on my homework while grandma stands at the kitchen sink and washes dishes and hums to herself just like she does every single night. That's what faithfulness looks like to me. Maybe God is like that too. At bedtime, grandma sits at the edge of my bed, singing a lullaby and stroking my head. She tucks the blankets up close around me. That's what gentleness looks like to me. Maybe God is like that too. I lie in bed watching the curtains flutter. I want to talk about that dog we saw today and how high I can swing. But grandma says once I'm tucked in, I have to stay in bed until the morning. I close my eyes and I try to fall asleep. That's what self-control looks like to me. Maybe God is like that too. I saw God over and over again today. Whenever I saw love, joy, and peace. Whenever there was patience, kindness, and goodness. When I saw faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, I saw God's spirit at work. I don't see God the way that I see my friends or the street lights or the river, but I see signs of God's spirit all around me, right here in the city. I know what God is like. Maybe I can be like that too. Can you help me say the fruit of the Spirit? The fruit of the Spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And we can find those words written in our Bibles in the book of Galatians, Galatians 5, verses 22 through 23. Okay, boys and girls, I know that with the help of the Holy Spirit, you have those fruit growing and growing inside of you. And you can let that out so that all the people around you can feel God's presence because you are doing your very best to show others that you are a follower of Jesus. All right, boys and girls, I hope that I can see you very soon and enjoy the rest of your summer.